This is the iPolo B1L Bitcoin Miner. Today we're gonna review it and see how much cheap Bitcoin we can mine with it. iPolo started to dominate the market. If you go to ASIC mining panel, you see a lot of iPolo uh, miners on top making the most amount of money. This is one of the products. It's actually not that expensive, about $2,000, $3,000 or so. It consumes 3,000 watts. It mines 60 terahashes on Bitcoin. You can also mine Bitcoin Cash or whatever. I really, really like the form factor with four fans. It makes it cooler. There's other things about it that I really like compared to other miners. For example, the gap here, you can see I can even put my finger in here. There's a gap between the power supply and the miner. The, the heat doesn't go in between the power supply and the hash boards. I like that, that it's separated. All the hash boards have one solid piece of heat sink on each side. So you're not gonna have any loose heat sinks like the S17 we hated, you know? It's not gonna happen, it's all solid steel. This is why it's so heavy. This is literally the heaviest miner I've ever had. I also really like the C13 cable compared to the C19. C13, a lot more beefier, can take a lot more power. Okay, I'm in my farm right here. I have as many 220 plugs as I want. And now we're gonna plug the iPolo to power and ethernet. That's all it needs, let's do it. Cable is included already. I'm just gonna plug it in like this. We need ethernet, of course, to be able to log in and everything. Boom, I turn on, it's gonna be loud, guys. You need a computer to find the IP address, okay? I'm using Advanced Port Scanner. You can download it for free and it will find the IP address for the miner, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on search. Okay, I found it. The IP address is 192.168.1.139. So I'm gonna open a browser. 192.168. The username is root. The password is also root. And we're in. I'm gonna go ahead, change this to English iPolo miners always come in Chinese for whatever reason. You wanna change this to your mining pool. RPM goes up and down on the fence, that's normal. It's still kinda of like hashing and testing. Now we're just gonna wait. Let's uh, wait like half an hour and see what kind of hash rates we're getting. So far, it was very easy to set up. It took me a couple of minutes. A few moments later. All right guys, we waited and now we're getting a hash rate. We're getting 61 terahashes. It's over what advertised. We're actually getting more. That's awesome. 